How are you today? Good. Good, 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 David. So how is the day so far? Thank you for taking the time. My pleasure, David. How was the day so far? Oh, good. I have um, interviews to do today, so I've been working on that. Oh, Sounds good. great. <laughs> Sounds great, David. So, David, Maldive, your new album is to be out on August 26th. So can you tell me a bit about the songwriting and production behind this debut album? Yeah. Um, we started... I reconnected with the singer of um, Ifel Dua in, um, during the pandemic. We um, immediately clicked in again and we start. Um, I brought a riff for some kind of a project I had in mind. So I shared it with him. There was the, um, the beginning riff of uh, Dualism, the song Dualism in the album. And uh, he was like, well, we should do something about this. And uh, we started writing and uh, one song after the other, it, it was um, like an avalanche. And uh, I contact um, a drummer I work with in Botanist. I had the chance to join Botanist for, for a brief period of time. I was playing bass. So we did a, a tour in Japan and we got very close. And we talked to each other and we said, maybe we should play together, do something. So I thought to contact him and um, we started practicing and um, drums and guitar for the album were done in like three months, more or less. Then we sent everything to the, to the singer, Luciano, and um, the bass player is a, a local guy in the, in the Bay Area. Um, a friend of the drummer, and it was uh, it was a beautiful process, extremely um, involved, but at the same time very natural. And uh, we tried to do our best to keep the album as raw as possible. The songs were coming, so I didn't want to uh, overthink anything, and I wanted the production to be the same. And I think we we got that. This is amazing, amazing, David. And was there any particular concept that was put behind this album? Yeah, um, the main concept behind the song is um, men mental health. Um, uh, I will say, um, whatever tricks your mind into thinking, into getting into paranoia, uh, PTSD, um, drama that the mind creates itself so nightmares the nightmare of living even if the music is extremely um i, I don't want to say positive but it's very uplifting the concept behind the, the album is about uh, the pain of living and uh, luciano the singer wrote all the lyrics and um they're like purging out of himself, a side of him that I never dealt with before because in Ifil Duet, I was writing the lyrics and they were more metaphysical. These are very raw and uh, very uh, down to earth and very uh, upset. But the result, I want to think that is uh, up, uh, something that can pump you up during your day and get you going. Absolutely. And talking about the album, 17 amazing extreme metal songs, beautifully done, great work. Each and every song gives the power and the energy that you really need in times like this, beautifully done. And as a band, how do you feel about the outcome of this one? I, I was surprised about how quickly uh, J, um, Jamie King, the producer was able to, to get the sound that I wanted. He, um, I produced the guitar myself and I expected him to uh, change a few things here and there, but he wrote me right away saying, we should keep the guitar as they are and uh, we should give to the whole album a, a live kind of approach. And um, the result is like, literally, if you put your headphones on, 
you have a band in front of you playing. There's no post-production. Uh, every every song was done in one or two take that we put together. Um, it's a very genuine album, and I'm extremely proud of it. Um, the bass is a wall in your face. It's beautiful. Yeah. The guitars are um, creeping in from the side, and the voice the voice is uh, the best performance he ever did, for sure. The drum the drummer is crazy. is a uh, is, is a phenomenal human being. Um, and we wanted the drums to have um, kind of a reverb, kind of a, a, we recorded the drums ourselves too in the breath space. So it's, it's, it's a very, it's a very crafty kind of album that came out exactly like I, I expected and uh, probably better because uh, it was so fast. Also the, the mixing phase was like two days. It was good. Awesome, David. And any particular plans on August 26th on the day of the release? Do you have? Um, we are um, working on getting the band um, on, on stage soon. Um, our singer lives in, in Europe. So we need to play, like, we are not the kind of band that can play like a weekly show here and there. Yeah. We are, we're looking for the right booking agent to, to make this uh, uh, a live band that tour at least two try to, or twice a year. And uh, to do that, we, we have to have some kind of support behind. Like I could book some shows by myself, but it's not worth it to, to, to fly from, from Italy just for that. So we want to have tours and we're working on that. Sounds good, sounds good. And uh, two amazing videos, Ashes and Dysmorphia, great, amazing videos that you have created. But do you have plans to come up with more videos from this album? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we did a third, we did a visualizer for a third yes. song called uh, near, uh, "Near Disaster," and we are with the same crew that did the video for Dysmorphia. That's one of my best friends. The actor is one of my best friends. I actually didn't know he was going to shave his head when yeah. when I saw him at the end of the video. It was like I was so happy that he went for it. We are planning a, a second video together. And uh, it's going to be for the song. Um, I can't, I can't, I can't tell you. So, no, it's, <laughs> it's gonna be a surprise. And uh, it's gonna, it's going to be a much more involved project, probably. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. Uh, the director and I became very close, and um, he started to teach me uh, editing myself. So I'm going to be involved more and more in the future with uh, the videos of the band. It's very fun. I like it. And uh, I think Satya, the main, the main actor, is uh, truly something, so. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And what are the plans for this album? Do you have any merchandise plan, vinyls, and what are the stuff that you're going out on August 26th? Yeah, we have uh, three, uh, three shirt designed by Niklas Sunding that did the uh, cover artwork and the videos. And uh, um, they have, everything is, is on our band camp. We released one so far, and uh, I'm going to wait for the release of the album to, to get them all out. And um, the album is coming out in vinyl, one red and one black. It's a, it's a digital, digipack CD. Yes, amazing. That I got from Swart. It was a it was a pain in the ass to to wait for the the pressing plant during the pandemic. You know, yeah. we had a we had to wait for eight months to get the vinyls. But that's that's the state of affair right now. So um, yeah. these are the plans so far. And how does Red Rod look into the future? I um wrote 26 songs for the next album and so far we have drums and vocals for 13 and we plan to uh to record them uh like bef like recording the drums before the end of this year and uh probably have the whole album ready by the summer mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, I'm not sure for how long we have to wait to release that but the album is uh, it's phenomenal and um, 
I'm very excited about it. it's just uh, we're, we're we're working on that so so much it's crazy and we took our time this time it was not it was a much more um, the first album was like uh, something that had to come out of us the second the second one is is much more um, uh, thought I think we didn't. We got lucky because we were writing it without feeling any pressure uh, of the from the first album because the first album is not out yet. So I'm, yeah. I, th I think it's great to write the second album without having to compare. Like I didn't read a review or anything, so I don't know what people think about this first album. Uh, so probably we're, we're gonna have some pressure of writing the third one, but the second one was free of any second thoughts and it's very good amazing and moving to the songwriting process is there any particular choice of songwriting that you go through or is just going to be diverse in the coming days well red rot is a progressive death metal band so we are sharing the fact that there is a solid backbone of sound where we can stretch out a bit here and there, but that's that's what we are. And I'm not I'm not going to reinvent the band for each album or like the band is that. Um, the first album has some element of uh, um, Voivod sounding like trash probably, and some kind of a doom. Um, so the second album is going to have that doom becoming tiny bit more funeral doom. And uh, the trash element got more involved and became like a sort of almost black metal. And the second one, you're gonna hear, it's uh, it's more extreme than the first. And the, the, the death metal base is always there. So these are the three elements that we, we play with. So death metal, uh, some kind of obscure oblique trash, yeah black metal and then uh, slow doom and we're gonna stay there sounds great david sounds great and david finally what would be the message that you want to give to the fans from the world yeah um give it a listen try give, give it give us a chance this is a very genuine band um that is working really really hard to create something um that we care for we're not following any trends. We're not trying to enter in any, uh, jumping on any train. We're, we're doing our things. Uh, we are honoring the old school death metal from the 90s. And um, I think uh, we've been playing extreme metal for enough year to, to have our own sound. We started in 98. Uh, I started collaborating with Lucha in 2002. So it's rare to have a band with members that have been playing together for so long. We're very lucky to be uh, clicking so much still after so much, so, so many years. And um, I would say, you know, give a chance to underground music. And um, this is a this is a band that I think could make your day better here and there whenever you, you need a, a lift up or Absolutely. bumping up. Absolutely, David. And David, I want to thank you so much for giving me today this wonderful opportunity to have you in this interview. A real pleasure. And thank you for putting up an amazing album this year. A great pleasure to listen to this entire 17 track album. Thank you so much for that. And hope to see you guys on the road real soon. Thank you. Uh, I really appreciate for the support. Thank you so much. Thank and you. I'm thank happy you like the album. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Take care of yourself. You too. Take Bye. care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.